What is up, comic creators? We're going to give uh, color editing a try here in iMovie uh, in 2023 just to kind of uh, give it a test and see how it goes. I've got these two clips, man, walking in the city in this forest. I figure those are two good clips to test out. So top right-hand side, you're going to see your menu for your uh, editing options within iMovie. The first thing is this circle here. That is your col uh, white balance and color balance. So the auto is a pretty decent feature. Um, when you click it, now it's going to give my... A computer kind of takes a minute to load it there but it kind of does a pretty good job uh, with that auto most of the time um, so you can kind of see the difference there uh, with it and without it uh, you can give the other ones a shot like white balance and stuff if you have a decent white uh, thing within uh, the video itself it'll do the trick um, white you know but if you don't really have like a, something you can click on like there's your skin tone it really jacks it up so uh, most of the time the auto uh, does a pretty decent job especially on the fly I don't want to turn this into like a crazy amount of like oh here's how the here's the inward workings of white balance and I just feel like you know if you're trying to edit you're trying to edit quickly uh, auto most of the time does a pretty good job and you know sometimes I'll actually hold a piece of white paper up to the camera to actually click for white balance so on this other one this is the uh, color easel and you can see on the dark here you can increase the shades on this line here um, you've got your contrasts within the video that you can change um, you have all those kinds of features here that I'm messing with uh, it's pretty decent I'm gonna reset it um, a lot of times I'll just focus in on this contrast one here and that will kind of do the trick and so you could just edit with the contrast and adjust that and leave that be if you're uh, running on the fly and you're trying to just get stuff done and you're trying to keep it simple that contrast bar can normally do the trick and then sometimes I'll adjust this white one here for uh, white balance or exposure if I need to like increase the a light so this is your saturation and I can boost it all the way and you can see the color really changing you boost it the other way you take all the color out so um, I normally try to boost it just a little bit uh, just to give it more of that color it looks really good and then obviously you've got your um, cold and warm uh, feature next to the saturation your blue and orange uh, basic colors so if you go all the way blue it makes it feel more like cooler or colder you go to the right it makes it feel more warmer with the colors i actually think on this clip that going to the right and making it more warm is actually makes it look a lot better um, and so there you go that's your basic run through there's your original uh, just like that so you can see all the color out of it and then here's your new one um, and I actually think that looked pretty good for an on the fly like hey I'm just throwing stuff out I didn't even plan this I'm just you know throwing stuff out at you to kind of show you what you can do here with iMovie which you are pretty limited uh, with it but it does a pretty good job so here's our forest um, I got this long forest clip I use this in a lot of videos um, for YouTube and so I'm gonna try and see if I can do something with this too so once again on the fly white balance here I don't think any of these other ones will be much help, so I'll just do the auto. You can see a major difference there. Doesn't look too bad. It's a major difference. Um, and so um, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not, I don't even know if I'm even gonna try to mess with these on this one, just cause I don't, I don't see anything in here that I can clip or click. So I think I might just go to the color easel again on this, so color easel. And then I can adjust the contrasts here. So you can kind of see, now this is a very shaded uh, video clip already you're kind of going through the trees there's not a lot of sunlight coming through so I'm not really gonna mess with the sh shadows of the darkness here too much I could increase the light on it or increase the exposure once again it's just trying to increase that small light there um, saturation I can give that a shot so if I go this way with it it kind of boosts the color a little bit you know you can take color out of it I don't think that really helps for this situation just try to boost this color um, and I try to just keep it very minimal changes very very minimal you can kind of see the greens popping a little bit not too bad so cold and cold and warm uh, I kind of that's interesting so you kind of have this more fall look you know obviously I think there's probably no, no shock there and then you can kind of have this more winter look but um, I think on this one too again I thought going blue might be better I'm, I'm thinking I might just try to warm it up just a bit so um, you know the original one was pretty decent I mean it's a long clip um, but on this one you can kind of show you the before and after on this bottom piece here but um, that is your uh, that is your basic color editing tips on here that you can do to kind of increase the uh, quality of your footage so there's the before and then there's the new so you got your you got your before and then the new 
So um, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you an idea of what to do color wise. I didn't want to make a long video and I don't want to waste your guys' time um, because you don't need to spend a lot of time doing this, especially if you're using iMovie. It's just these subtle changes that will really affect your video. So I just wanted to give you a quick run through because it's all about speed. You want to upload as much content as you can and you want to spend uh, as little time messing with this stuff as possible. That's where people I think get discouraged from doing this is because they don't really know what they're doing and it winds up taking a lot of time. So if you just hit the contrast, do a little bit of saturation, it goes a long way. So let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. I can help you out with other iMovie stuff. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later. Hey, if you kept watching through this uh, video up to this point, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. All those things really help the channel growth. And I want to thank you guys for all the growth that we are seeing. I appreciate it very much. All of your interactions and engagements help the channel grow. It feeds the algorithm, which is exactly what we need. Uh, please take the time to check out more of the iMovie tutorials I have on my channel. I'm remaking a lot of those for the new year and making all new versions. And let me know if you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section below. See if I can help you at all. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.